Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another... Wait, wait a second. Something doesn't look right here, guys. Anyways, how's it going, guys? Spy here, and welcome to another Scrap Mechanic episode. And yes, you guys are seeing right, this is Jalopy in Scrap Mechanic. So what I have done is I have made Uncle's Shop in Scrap Mechanic, and we also have a few cars out there. We have the Leica here, and we have a Trabant there. Anyways, let's check out the shop here. I was not really sure how it was going to build this, guys, but I really wanted to do something like this, and I think I got it down pretty well. The colors here are very, very weird, though, because the game colors had a weird pinkish-brown tint, and all I could really use for the walls was this pinkish-red here. I think that works for now. I also used some different colors in the build here, like these browns, as well as the gray for the floor, because the floor was a little weird too in the game. It had like a little tannish color to it. I, I don't really know. But anyways, this is Uncle's Old Lake Shop, and this is one of my favorite builds now, guys. But anyways, let's get into this episode and check out this build. Let's see the resemblances from the actual game to my version in Scrap Mechanic. So, we have the little bedroom area here where we start off in the game. We got an alarm clock here, which actually works. We got a lamp, of course, and we have these weird looking framing pieces for the walls here. It looks like someone kind of tried to do some framing with the walls, and yeah, it looks a little unfinished, but there we go. And up top, we have some more struts and supports going across. The hardest part about this build probably was the coloring and the roof. Once we get outside, you guys will see why. But anyways, in the shop here, we got the keep alert poster, which is actually just warning falling objects, which makes sense because there was a lot of falling objects when I was building this. <laughs> and then over here, we have the shelves, the storage shelves, which we could buy some storage with, but not in scrap mechanic. We could just throw stuff on there if we really wanted. Over here, we have the toolbox and the decal remover. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's not really that cool looking because you have to build stuff by blocks. But uh, that's the best I could do. And then over here, we have the parts cabinet and the parts chest. We open this up. You guys will see we have a few tires in there. Only two, though. We have a jerry can or a fuel tank. We also have a water bottle. <laughs> and over here, we got the engine components. We got the engine here. We got an air filter there. We have a water tank and we have the carburetor. I know I'm missing a few things, but you know what? It, it's good enough. That's all I could fit. Let's close this back up here. We got some more framing and half-finished walls there. We got the clock. We got this shelf here, and we also have the calendar. And this is just a, a light switch. <laughs> and we got this little uh, work area here. Um, I had to make it metal. I think it looks all right. But anyways, that is pretty much it for the inside here. Except over here, you guys may be wondering, is there anything back there? No. Like in the game, you can't even go behind these doors. You can't even go in the old Leica shop over there because Uncle has it all cardboarded off and stuff. Speaking of Uncle, there he is, guys. Look at the uncanny resemblance. He looks pretty similar, don't you guys think? Other than his jacket, not really. <laughs> all right, well, that's pretty much it for the inside here. Let's go check out the outside here. So this is the outside of the shop. Look at this! I think I did a really good job on getting it to look very similar. Um, except the sign up there had to be a little larger than what it actually was because it didn't really fit. But look at that! Even got like the little handwriting on it. And then we have the giant wrench, which took me a while to build because I wasn't sure how to build it until I put it on a bearing. It doesn't look the greatest, but that's as good as I could get it for now. And outside here, we have the fence all around the yard here and then the wood fence but you guys may be wondering, why isn't there any scrap cars in here? That's because that would have taken quite a while. I might get to that in the future if you guys want to see more episodes like this of Jalopy. I'm not sure if I'm going to be making more. I might do like a highway or something so we could drive on it. And maybe one little route if we could figure out how to do that properly. But in here, we got some like washing machines. We got some crates and pallets. And this, uh 
garbage bin here was made by Mindfish. He made it for the mini city, but I used it in this. And up there we have the scaffolding. Nothing too much to that. And here, you guys could see that the shop actually is covered by blinds and cardboard. That's how it is in the game. You can't really go in there. But as you can see, there's nothing in there at the moment. We got a bench. We got the parts area here if it was actually a shop that was in use. Behind us here, we have the gate, which does not work at the moment. I just made it look like that. And then all around, there's some lights and other decorations. Anyways, let's get right into the vehicles. Now, this is the Leica based off of the game here. This was made by Mr. Krovka. He did an awesome job on it. We got the roof rock there. Uh, we can actually go in the trunk here. Look at that. We got some parts. We have the jack there. We got tires. We got a tool kit. That is pretty much it in the back there. And on the side here, we can actually open up the doors and go inside. But let's check out under the hood first. So let's get in the car here. Let's press some buttons. We got a radio in this thing too, which is pretty nice. Listen to this. Oh yeah, that actually fits very well into the jalopy. Okay, let's open up the hood there. Let's get out and check that out. So under the hood, we have the engine. Get the water tank. We have the fuel tank, we have the air filter, and I guess the carburetor. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. He did an amazing job on this. Okay, so that one is done. Let's go over here and check out this one. This is the Trabant. This one was designed after the real car. If you guys did not know, the Leica here was designed after the Trabant, which is real life's East German car. So this one here was made by Doge Lord. He did a really good job on it. This one pretty much just has a more sleek body. We can get into the trunk as well by clicking this button here. There's nothing in it, but it looks pretty good. We can't get into the hood though. I don't think, no, I don't think we can at all. But we're gonna hop in and check out some of the buttons. This one has a radio as well. The doors automatically close, which is awesome. We can press two to open them. Three to turn on our headlights. And one to honk our horn. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the cars here. I'm actually going to take them for a little test drive. I made a, a little highway there. It is not finished. It's just for test driving. So we're going to pick up Mr. Krovka's car here. I'm going to take it oh, on the highway. I'm just going to use Doge Lord's car to jump over. <laughs> All right. So let's put this here. Okay, there we go. Let's open up the door. Let's hop in. Let's close the door. And let's go. So these cars here drive really well. This Leica drives really, really well on the concrete here. Look at that. Pretty awesome. It would be awesome, though, if I actually made a route. If you guys do want to see more of the Jalopy world, let me know. I might expand a highway out into another town, if you guys would really like that. But anyways, there we go. There's the Leica. Let's go test out the Trabant. If I could get unstuck. <laughs> well, there we go. Let's put this here. Let's grab the Trabant. Let's go take this out on the highway. So there we go. Let's get in. And let's drive. Okay, so this one seems to work really, really well on this highway. The suspension works amazing. Look at that. That's awesome. Doge Lord and Mr. Krovka did a very good job on these cars. I am a really big fan of Jalopy, so this kind of stuff makes me extremely happy. I'm so glad I actually made this. And if you guys did enjoy this build, let me know in the comments and subscribe if you have not already. All of the vehicles and this map are in the description if you guys want to check this out. So let's go place this back down where it was before, right here. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good enough spot. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this build. There wasn't too much to it other than me taking a few hours to build this and a couple minutes to showcase it. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.